Hope you're doing well. I uh, got something to show you. I finished a new skinner today. This is uh, very similar, almost identical to the first skinner I made out of 01. But this is a 14C 28N. It's got a tapered tang. It's got black canvas. Um, Micarta scales with a uh, orange G10 liners. Um, so the Micarta should be able to, uh, you know, pretty much last your lifetime and beyond. And with a little bit of orange there, I thought there's a little bit of nice contrast. So if you're using this as a hunt knife, which is what, you know, you really, I want you to use it for. Um, if you drop it, there's a little bit of color contrast just to kind of stand out, okay? Um, full flat ground. It's got a V edge, sharpened on some uh, diamond stones. See, it's got a nice um, thin profile. Very thin edge. I haven't measured this one yet, but uh, it's thin. I'll measure it, and I'll try to put the uh, that annotation in the description. Um, knife itself, it's not a very big knife. I've not measured it yet. It's probably about eight inches overall. The handle just cradles into your hand. And once you grab it, the way I've got the drop set, your thumb is automatically just rest here or if you pinch up those three fingers lock in and you can use it the pinch grip or depending on how big your hand is you've got the little tip here so you can get inside of a gut cavity and uh, work the gut and in this again 14C 28 in um, this steel was uh, designed uh, razor blades if I'm not badly mistaken um, it's made for a thin um, edge high polish it's got a very aggressive edge to it um, so it should be ideal in a skinning knife and I think this is going to be a, a really a, you know wonderful wonderful using skinning knife it just really feels good in the hand and it is your hand just sits here the balance, it's actually a little handle heavy, but for a skinning knife, that's what I like. I like to know I've got the knife in my hand, so when I work, that's so. Again, it just feels really good. Um, so if I can do this at this angle, piece of uh, leather here. All right. That's what you want. Let me slide this out of the way. I've got a uh, piece of uh, pine. All right. Okay, and again, I'm at an odd angle, but the handle, it's really uh, been contoured, oval, really no hot spots, very comfortable in the hand. Now it's not a very thick handle, so it's a very slim little knife. So it'll ride comfortable on um, your hip, um, low profile, like it is. And I made actually a, a slim little more pancake type sheath here. All right. So when the knife is in the sheath, it's just a very slim, lightweight little profile. I actually think this is probably the best knife that I've made so far. Um, actually, I can tell you, it's my favorite knife. One thing I will point out that I don't, well, I wish was better. My name, which you can see, um, is Light, my etch. Um, my etcher, I've only used it uh, half a dozen times or so, and I'm trying to figure out the etch setting, you know, uh, as far as the power and the time. And this etch came out a little bit light, 
So that's the only thing I don't like is my name there. But you can see my Trinity knot came out nicely. So anyway, again, I think this is the best knife I've done so far. I really like this knife. It really just feels like it belongs in your hand. Thanks.